Travis Harris County new video into our newsroom shows the moments leading up to a man being attacked by two dogs. Now it happened just after 7 o'clock this morning in a neighborhood on Queens Retreat Drive and Meadow Run Court. We do want to warn you, the details in the video in this story are disturbing. KVRC 2's Brittany Jeffers joins us live from that scene. And Brittany, do we know what the man was doing when he was attacked? They believe that he was out for a morning walk, but we do want to just reiterate that deputies and neighbors all say that this was a gruesome attack. Deputies believe that those dogs ran across the street to this home, and that is where the attack happened. It was shortly afterwards that neighbors ran outside trying to help this man. An early morning walk. Deputies say around 6.30 this morning, the man was walking along Brookhead and Queen Retreat. This home surveillance video then shows two dogs, Pitbulls, run across the street and approach the man. He backs up towards the house, later batting them away. And then he was attacked. So I hear somebody saying, help, help, help. That's when I said, something ain't right. Daryl Berryman lives across the street. And I ran downstairs. And as soon as I got downstairs, I heard the man saying, help. And I ran over him. Man, I seen two pet boys. Dog, no, when I say the man couldn't move, they had him by his fa face. his face. Both of them just. Uh, uh, uh. I said, oh, my God. I took off, ran back, and told my granddaughter, call 911. The attack happened in Elmer Levine's front yard. The retired sheriff's deputy ran outside to help. When I came out, the dogs turned around and went to attack us. And I, yeah, I let off a shot. I shot him through the shoulder. I, I didn't even stop and didn't even put him down. Pretty gruesome attack. You're correct. It was, it was pretty gruesome. He did lose quite a bit of blood. Uh, and I, that was their main concern at this point. Lieutenant Daniel Garza with Precinct 4 says that the man was life flighted in critical conditions, suffering injuries to his upper and lower body, neck, and face. I've been doing this a long time, and um, this type of, of attack, it, it's not something you see on a normal basis. Deputies say they don't have a record of calls about the animals, but Berryman doesn't agree. He claims the dogs have been violent before. I called police three times on that house about them pet bulls. They broke, they broke in my yard, killed my dog. And neighbors tell me that they do not know this man. They say they've routinely seen him walking around the neighborhood. Of course, they say they are praying for his recovery. Deputies have not released his ID yet either. And they do tell me that the animal control does have possession of the dogs. Deputies also say that charges are pending against the owner. Those charges have not yet been released. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jaffers, KPRC.